we got two things that's happening in this video first of all is Conrad Zan's birthday on the 17th which is this day glad that nothing is happening on that day so we can spend it with family we spend it with friends and all that and the second thing that's happening is basically Nike reached out to Conrad Zan because he has had such a good season I mean he only just lost his 100% record in the match against Dan's stat in the last episode and when Nike reaches out to you and tells you that they want you to be part of their long list of ambassador athletes you really can't say no, can you? We were already wearing Nike boots, which is the Mercurial Superfly Elite, the Mad Ambition version. It wasn't because we were sponsored by Nike or anything. It's just because, you know, he likes Nike boots and, you know, he's wearing Nike boots just for the fun of it. But there's not a lot of new Nike boots to select from in the game. But, I mean, they gave us a really large list to select from. So we're going to pick from any one of the Nike boots that are on the list here any one that we want to get and it's obviously for free and we're going to be going for this one the mercurials vapor elites just because i think it looks cool and now that all that is done let's go into the video it's win or bust for dortmund against Feyenoord today anything other than victory will see them fail to get through to the uefa champion league knockout stages what is that about i mean we're 14th and we still have like two matches after this one uh it's actually kind of close because we are on eight points and i mean literally the last team can like win the next two matches and get past us or something like that i really don't i mean it's a, it's a must win right yeah it's a must win basically so if we lose matches it's every chance that we might not actually make it to the knockout stage that is actually true that is crazy uh, we didn't have a very good start but i mean like i said before we started against the very very big teams and, it's, and I'm really, really lucky that we are going to be, you know, finishing off with the lower teams in our group stage. Feyenoord versus Borussia Dortmund. It's not really a headliner, but it's a match that we absolutely have to win because if we do not, there's every chance that we might not make it to the to the knockout stages of the Champions League. And yes, I changed his hairstyle or rather the color of his hair in the last episode i don't know why it didn't change it's after like i was editing that i noticed that it wasn't blonde in the match against the recusant all right we're starting with a crossing opportunity and it's looking like we can probably get this in the bag can i shoot yes i can and that is one nil to borussia dortmund and we have gotten the goal for our team as we always do all right so we have a corner kick next i'm going to go short with this and try and whip it into the back of the net um, if it works out perfectly. Oh god, the pass is just annoying. Now we have a counter attack and um, are you going to pass this to me straight up? He is. Alright, it's not a very good pass but we go out wide. I don't know what happened there but we lose the ball. Unaccidentally, please tell me they haven't scored. They have scored, so we need to score one more goal right now. All right, so we have a chance to cross. Oh, what the hell is that? Malin, that is good, but the keeper makes a very good save. We draw the match. Not exactly what I was looking for, to be honest. A draw against player not is not, it's not a very, very friendly result, but at least it's not a loss. So, I mean, there's still a chance that we can still make it to the playoffs. I mean, we are in the playoffs right now, but we just need to win our next two matches in order to actually advance to the to the playoffs. I'm honestly not even happy with those highlights because there's so much that we could have done there. I feel like we're just, like, nerfed in that match. But, I mean, we did get a goal, though. So, um, that's another goal added to our tally. I want to know how many goals we have actually scored in our career, though. We have gotten 52 goals. We've already passed the 50 mark. That is interesting. I can't wait to... To get to the 100 mark but i just remember that in the last episode i actually accidentally uh, allocated some points because i thought i got a hat trick in a simulation match but i also forgot to add some points in the hat trick that i did get in the first match i mean we got a 10.0 in that match as well but i didn't add the points for that so it cancels out basically so i'm really going to leave it as it is i forgot to say that at the beginning of the episode but better late than never you know everything is all solved and also now we have the match against freiburg i'm not going to play this one though i'm going to simulate it and let's hope that we do get a win here and we do it's a big win of that 4 2 we get a brace in this match all the goals were scored okay all our goals in our team were scored in the second half and Brant and Malin got the other goals for the team. I actually like the fact that we can do that well in the simulation, scoring two goals, getting a 9.6 match rating. That is, that is mental. All right, so I think it's going to be my birthday in a few days, December 17th. I simulated to the date. So let's actually see what the game does. Birthday preparation, that's exactly what they do. Expires in 14 days. A birthday to remember, you get your teammates together to celebrate your birthday. 10 bowling, 
you invite your family i think i did this one last season so look in nightclub i get invited out to everybody you know i'm kind of an introvert so that's definitely not me so i'm going to go for the virtuoso one even though i'm really not caring about the virtuoso um personality points any anymore but let's also work on the christmas one as well i think i'm going to go for maverick and um virtuoso for this one you make the biggest bit for some sports memorabilia I'm not really interested in that to be honest. In school near the stadium is raising funds for their sports team. You have the day of spending buying gifts for your own family and friends. I'm just going to go for this one. It's the one that I'm most likely to do. Basically, I saw I saw Zan Christmas shopping in the local shop. Alright, that's cool. But anyways, we're going to be saving this one as well because it's not really that big a match for me to want to play. We score um again in this match that is good so i mean we're still scoring goals that is that is good for conrad zan and next up we have the match against mines that is going to be all the way in in january though i saw something about bellingham just now chill but we did get player of the month for last month so let's go with the maverick thank your fans online for all their messages of congratulations in the bag imagine there are people out there who believe someone else deserved the player of the month award more than i did no one deserved it more well done great job so we'll expect another one that is actually quite cocky <laughs> but i like it next up though we have the first match in january and it's going to be a big match first versus third i'm not going to play the full match of this though let me check i think i probably want to play um this match against hirona and we have nines as well again so i think i'm going to play this one that we're about to like play now and then the one against hirona i think i'm going to end the episode with this last match against mines oh my god why, why are we playing them so much what the hell so this is the first time that we're going to be facing off against mains in the season because we have the home match I and mean, then we have the away away match in like a couple days like in, in the same month at that so um i really hope that we can get a win here to start our actual push of lifting the bundesliga after a very very long time it turns out that conrad zahn jr might just have been the missing piece that dortmund needed to to lift the bundesliga all right we're still with the ball that's what Matas gets to carry my me. And let's see if we can. Oh, that is a really good shot. But the keeper was able to match it with a really good save as well. We're going to be going in. And let's see who we can get this to. Schlotterberg does it makes it like that's a really good header from him though. But let's see if we can try something here. And that is not even good. He wasn't balanced enough to take that shot. I was trying, I was going for the trailer on God. But you know, some things don't just work out in this game. Nice. My offside, no. Can I score here? And the keeper makes another really good save. I thought I was offside. That's why I didn't like keep on running. I probably should have. That is another good tackle. And we have a good chance here. Please score it. And oh my god. How the hell do we not score that? All right, the first half is almost over. And our team is not looking very good here. I mean, we've had... Just a couple shots on goal, just the one I made and the one that Karimadi and me made as well. But I'm really trying to see if we can do something here. Please make the freaking pass. Oh my god. I, I slowed down because I didn't think that he was going to make the pass. Ugh. Alright, so that's the that's the end of the first half. And well, I mean we've we've done pretty well. We made a couple shots, I think two or three thereabouts. Oh my god, no, that is not good please block it and that is a good save from gregor kubel oh my god i swear to god if they scored me after all the chances that we've had i would have been so mad there but come on guys let's get a counter attack going come on someone get the ball please that is good brilliant all right let's go inside here i think we are through maybe can i score definitely and that is the first goal for conrad zan first goal for dortmund and that is a really really good counter i mean once i was through there once he got on his stride there was no way in the hell that they were catching him i don't know why the hell defenders catch him sometimes i don't know what that's about but really this one was really really good his run i mean the defenders were kind of far apart and there just wasn't any catching him i hope that we can keep this clean sheets we don't need any draws in life right now just stay where the hell where we are okay Marlin, brilliant. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. I didn't know if I, I wasn't really confident in shooting with his um, right leg there. So, you know, we just did it too. Brilliant. Oh, shit. I swear to God, I wish I got that. 
that would have been so that would, have, that would definitely have been the goal of my season to be honest the keeper did really well there though I think he shoots, please. And that is a goal. All right, so we do get another assist. That was a really good goal from Karim Adeyemi there. All right, a goal and assist is what I'm working with here. Let's hope that, um, you know, we do better. Nice power shot. And that is yet another block on my power shot. Like, they don't want to give up. And uh, why the hell did he touch that? Oh my God, that's crazy. Oh my God, that is so crazy. Why did he touch that? Thank you, and that is offside. Shit, all right. Um, I honestly thought that I timed that very well, but that is sad that we were able to get a second goal there. All right, I believe it's safe to say that we have this match in the bag. I don't really think that there's any way that we're going to be losing this match or even drawing it at that. I don't let him shoot, and that is, I mean, Kobo, I mean, he's not beating Kobo from there with a shot like that. All right, so we have a chance for another counter here. Let's see if we can. All right. Um. Nice. Why? Why did that happen? Not just another counter, just like completely wasted there. All right. So that's the end of the match. We had a really good match. One goal, one assist. I could have gotten two goals, three goals even. But I mean, what I really, really regret not scoring is that bicycle kick because that would have been awesome. I mean, I would have lost my fucking mind if that happened. All right, we get yet another man of the match. I'm actually curious to see how many man of the match awards we have gotten over our career. I don't think you can check that like in one go. I think you have to like, look at it um, season by season. We got six man of the match awards in the first in our first season. That is not true. And we've got to 16. Jesus. <laughs> we've got to 16 this season. And I mean, we're still counting. But that's just the first half. We're just entering the second half of the season after this match against Mines. So that is just unbelievable, man. And with that win, we have entered 40 points. We are six points ahead of Bayern, who is now really, really pushing. Leverkusen has dropped off. I can't really believe that they have. Like, that's crazy. So next up, we have the match against Cold. I am going to. Um, simulate this but let me just do the training here real quick we draw the match 2-2 but we do get a goal that just brings Bayern annoyingly closer to us all right so we can't keep drawing all these matches i probably should have played the highlights for that one but i mean it's already it's already passed it's already long gone right now we have the match against Werder Bremen and for sure i am going to be playing the highlights of this one so let's hope that we can get a good win here if i'm not wrong we did get a hat trick at the end of last episode and i was supposed to allocate some points to conrad jr at the beginning of the episode but i forgot to do that as well so i probably will do that after this match if i remember and i also love to like get a hat trick as well so that you know just to add to it first order of business is a counter attack and i'm really hoping that um Adeyemi doesn't do anything funny here. He does, and we we'll lose the ball. I mean, I asked for a, a lob. I don't know what the hell man was on about. We have a free kick here, and I am obviously going to be going for goal. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be, but you know what? Let me just not go for goal. Let's see what I can do with a cross to the far post. Anybody? I was I was expecting Schlotterbeck to do something there. We have a crossing opportunity here, and I really hope that I really what the hell. What, what, why did I even slide though? I think I mean, get a really good goal to draw the to draw the game for Dortmund. All right, so we need one more chance to get a goal. Please tell me they haven't scored. No, they haven't. We have a course of opportunity here, and I hope that we can. I mean, I don't think he's going to be able to cross this straight up. I can't see my oh, how the hell am I offside? Come on! All right, so we have a penalty. And we have scored every single one of our penalties so far. We've got, we've we've, we've um, taken three, and um, I'm going to go down the middle here. Please keep our dive somewhere. He does, and well, that is another goal for Konrad Zan. And we have come from behind to lead this match. Exactly what I would have expected. And they, this is one reason why I absolutely hate this playable highlights. Because what the hell is that? How are they freaking? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We move on. We lost the match. I mean, Bayern is just like one point away from us now if they if they won their match. And thank God they actually did it. They drew their match, if I'm not wrong. Or they lost. They lost as well. So that is good. They are... No, they drew. So now they are three points behind us. So, I mean, we have no room for any more mistakes in the Bundesliga, guys. So we need... We absolutely, absolutely need to sit the fuck up. 
I get the wins that we actually that we actually are supposed to be getting. We're back in the Champions League this time. We're going up against Celtic. So I really should be hoping that this is going to be an easy match. Celtic is not really that much of a pushover in terms of going up against like giants of Europe and all. But I feel like Dortmund I mean, should be able to easily get a win here. So I'm not expecting them to score at all. I accidentally enhanced the goals. Or right, we're starting with a counter attack here. And let's see if, or rather a corner. And Malin, I need you to help me out here, please. And that just, just wide of the post. So now we have a good chance for a power shot. So, I mean, they're going to close me down pretty quickly. So let's hope that I can actually get this on time. And we do get our goal. That is a good goal. That's the second power shot goal that we're scoring. And now we have a solo run. They have already drawn just like that. Um, I'm going to chop to the left of this guy. If I need to, I do. Nice. And I think I think we got this. Oh my god, that was so cheeky. I mean, I would have hated myself if I didn't score that. But <laughs> it didn't come over. The keeper looks so fucking stupid now. We have another solo run. And I should probably go to the right of this guy. Just be careful. And he... he oh my god, I don't even know what the hell I'm supposed to do there. Alright, so we have a counter. Um, can I... Can they, like, thread a pass in between? Uh, no, they can't. But the ball goes just out. I don't know why the hell this rubbish has started again. Um, I'm going to be going... Um, for the far post. Let's see if someone can get ahead of that. I'm actually aiming for Schlotterbeck all the time, but that was not very good. I was... No, nah, no, nah, that didn't work out. That didn't work out. Nice. And what the hell? He just left the ball. What the hell is that about? Now it's time for another solo run. And I'm hoping that um, I get a goal here. And what is that first touch? What is that first touch that gets the ball away from my player? And now, now, oh my god, I'm, I'm so pissed off. I swear to god, if we do not win this match, I'm going to be so pissed off. I feel absolutely robbed of this match. I feel like we have been robbed by this bloody game of this victory because what the fuck is that like it makes no sense that the player just makes some random ass bad touches i, I mean he's a freaking 89 rated player for god's sake my 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 first touch i believe i believe my first touch is actually pretty good is there a thingy for that though um ball control maybe should be like something for first touch my ball control is 88 that is a that is really good we're supposed to uh, we have one skill point to allocate one allocation so i'm going to work on my ball control now that's what i'm going to do with our one skill point that we have yeah and i don't even want like it's honestly oh that takes us to be 90 that's crazy damn all right that's that's cool that's cool <laughs> that doesn't make me like just just lifted my mood a little bit but anyways we have wolfsburg next and I am going to be, I think I, I should probably like play this match and then end the episode here. I don't want to like make this episode really, really long. So um, we will start the match against Hirona in the next episode. Let me look at where we are in the Champions League because I'm really, really not happy with what happened there to be honest. We are, we've, we've gone down to 17. I can't believe Manchester City is all the way down there in 21. Um, I mean, the teams that are all the way at the bottom, I mean, I expect them to be at the bottom. Leverkusen has also dropped off, and I can't believe that Spurs is literally on the top of this table right here. That is just insane. We have match day action in the Bundesliga, and that is going to be Borussia Dortmund versus VFL Wolfsburg. I don't know if they're VFL or not, but Dortmund versus Wolfsburg is going to be a really tough match, but I really hope that we can get the win. We should. I mean, we're probably going to have a pretty shit first half. And then we're going to come back in the second half. Or, I mean, I would really, really like for us to just, you know, go all out in the first half. Like, no no time to waste time, all that shit. And it's a good pass. I wasn't really expecting him to pass there, so I did make the run. But, I mean, it's it's ambitious. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, so he was offside. So, I mean, that is a, that is a good thing. But, man, that caught me so off guard. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I just saw that I mean, a, a ball was floating into our freaking defense. But so far, Wolfsburg is not looking very friendly. Let's see if we can catch this defender off guard. No, we can't. Oh, no. All right, please, please don't let him score. And that is a good save from Cobell there. 
All right, so we have a chance for a counter attack. We are pretty good at these. So let's just hope that we do get the ball out. And yeah, it gets to me. All right, so, oh my God, what is that? The first touch is killing me, man. What the fuck? It's not like I'm doing anything that's making him push the ball that, that far ahead of him. Where is the fucking defender that is right there to like pounce on that? Oh my god, that is so bloody annoying. Alright, so they have yet another chance on goal. And, well, I mean, Kobo is going to catch those anytime, any day. But, come on guys. Alright, another counter, please. Please, 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 no. Alright, that's cool. Please don't let him score. Alright, Kobo, come on, get it to me. Thank you. Adiemi, come on, get make the run. Brilliant. Nice. All right, gets to me. Trevella, it doesn't work out. I probably should have done like a skill to get past the defender or done a one two or something like that. But I mean, we're looking up. That is our first attack in a, in a while. All right, the second half has started, and if there's any chance for us to like like come alive, we need to do it like right now because I am not really enjoying. Oh shit! What the hell is that defending? That is just unreal. I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words there. How did... <laughs> that defender is on crack. On board. Because how is he inter intercepting and anticipating every single thing? Alright, the coach has moved us to the right wing position because we have been quite shit. But like, I hope I hope um, it works out for, for us from here on out. Let's cut inside. Make it pass. Maybe... Please score it. Oh my god, why would you use your head? Why would you use your head? That was such a good chance. And the thing is that I even held LT there. That's to show you that this game is absolutely out to get me in this episode. I swear to God. Alright, so we have a good chance for something to happen here. If we catch it though, we do. Oh my God. Alright, we still have it. We still have it. Can I score? I can't. Oh my God. What the hell is that? I cannot believe that he got that top bit, baby, and that is such a good goal. What a way to equalize. That is such a good pass from Marlin to set it up, and Kipa had no chance with that. Kipa had no bloody chance that he hit the freaking underbar, and that is such a good goal. No. Alright, that's a good... Kobo, come on, get that to me, and get this to the defend, or rather, whoever that is. What is bro doing? All right, so this is a good chance. Get this out to me. Marlin, please score it. Oh my God. Why is that the first thing they think to do? Why do they think that a header is the best thing to do in, that, in those kind of scenarios? All right, guys, we just need to get the ball from them. We just need to get the ball from them and we will be good. Come on. Come on, don't just look at them. Oh my God. Oh my god, I mean, it's, it's gone already. Because, I mean, they have this last chance. And then the Burfi is not even going to let us... Exactly. It's not even going to let us move. God, that is such... That was such an annoying match. Such an annoying match. We could have scored so many goals in that. But, I mean, the plus side is that we did get a goal once again. So, I mean, our goal tally is actually really, really rising. And it's rising rapidly at that. Right now, I just want to take a look at my career. Let's go to the squad hub and let's look at how many goals that we have scored in this season. We have scored 42 goals in the bloody season. And we have a ways to go before the end of the before the end of the season. So we're probably going to like hit the way we're going right now, we're probably going to hit um 60 to be honest. And it's just our our, our second season. We are freaking 18-year-old 90 rated German striker who has 42 goals in just 31 appearances in his second season. It's, it's absolutely insane, <laughs> if you think about it. It's a result of the hard training that his father has given him over time. Father like instilled a lot of football knowledge into his tiny head. And, uh, well, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. This is the end of the episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you think about the series in the comment section below. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Then try